30 days ago, I embarked on a journey. A journey to discover whether or not the ability to draw was a skill that existed in some inherently, or if it was something that one could learn. Here we are, day 30. It's finally time to see how well my drawing has improved over the course of the last month. But before I started, I needed to test my abilities as they were. I can't draw. People who can draw well often say, it's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of practice. And well, I think they're lying. I think some people are just better at drawing and art than others. But I'm going to try it. For the next 30 days, I will be following a plan that will hopefully, at the end, improve my drawing. To test this, I will be starting off with three drawings. A horse, a car, and a face. I will draw them today on day zero, and then I will draw them again on day 30, and see how well my drawing has improved or stayed the same. Let's begin. Huh. All right, so I finished my initial drawings. First up, we have the horse. It is bad and not good. The more I look at it, the sadder I get. This one is the car. Now, by looking at this one, you may think I've never seen a car before, which isn't true, surprisingly. Now onto the face. Let's show it. It looks like it's almost cartoonish, but also not. It looks like a bad adult animation art style, hopefully. In 30 days, I will be able to look at my new drawings and not be upset by them. This has been day zero. Day one starts tomorrow. Hey boy, that was pitiful, but it was finally time to begin my journey. I had found an article online of a 30-day challenge to improve one's ability as a drawer. Every day for the next 30 days, I would draw. Most days included a video to follow along with. The first 10 days included the basics, how to draw three-dimensional shapes, shading, and other techniques that are critical if one wants to learn how to draw. The first few days were about spheres, where I learned the importance of highlights, midtones, and shadows. After the third day, where I drew the apple, I was feeling pretty good about my chances. After spheres, I learned cubes, the second most important building block of any good drawing. After cubes, cylinders, then pyramids, and cones. After learning these basic building blocks, I learned how to structure these shapes into objects like lamps, flowers, and vases. At this point, halfway through the challenge, I was feeling semi-confident in my chances of becoming a better drawer. So I decided to sit down with artist and Kutztown University student, Kate Elliott. My name is Kate Elliott. I am a sophomore here. I'm studying communications design. I've been doing art drawing all of it since I was probably, well, since I could differentiate what a pencil and a crayon was. My advice to young artists or beginner artists, people who are starting out, is practice, practice, practice. Practice is great, you know, and it doesn't even have to be good. You know, it doesn't have to look exactly what you're looking at or exactly what you envision in your head, you know. The unfortunate reality is not everything is realistic. You know, but that's also the good parts about art, is you can make what seems unrealistic, realistic. Whoa, magic. Um, observing, too. You know, I used to, when I was younger, I used to, like, practice drawing people, because that that's my thing, is drawing people, portraits and such. Was observing, like, how different people's faces looked, and, like, where their eyes came with their ears, and all of the proportions and whatnot. 
probably seemed creepy from an outsider perspective, <laughs> but from an artist's perspective in my head, I wasn't looking at them like, you know, a serial killer. I was looking at them as if I was drawing them in my head, like how would they look here and there? So it definitely is about lots of practice, lots of observation, and not expecting yourself to be perfect at all. It's art is subjective, it's not supposed to be perfect. There's no right or wrong answer in this world. After talking with Kate and hearing her advice, I started to believe that I might actually be able to do it. I just might come out of this a better drawer. The next few days included learning things like cross contour lines, which detail the ways a 3D object curves. I worked on more objects like trees and donuts and even my own hand. I learned how to draw different textures like wood, brick, and metal. Some days included completing exercises designed to challenge my brain. I did a blind contour drawing where I looked at my hand and drew the outline of it without looking at my paper. I completed the vase and faces exercise. The most difficult of these challenges was the upside down drawing where I was given an image that was flipped upside down and I had to focus on drawing the lines rather than the image itself. I drew a horse using a grid method. I learned about negative space, which is the empty space that surrounds an object. I learned how to draw one point perspective by drawing a street, then two point perspective by drawing a bedroom. I was rearing the end when I became worried. The challenge for day 27 was a still life. There was no video. I began to worry whether I had been improving at all or if I was just simply good at following videos. But I decided to take the challenge and it didn't come out too bad. Day 28 was back to textures and I drew the fur on a squirrel's face. The final exercise before day 30 was a face. I had some trouble with this one as the video lesson did not exactly help explain the placement of the features well, and it skipped through a lot of the process. But now it's time. Time to finally see once and for all if someone whose drawing abilities were so bad, if they can actually learn how to draw. Here we are. It's finally time to see how well my drawing has improved over the course of the last month. It has been interesting. I've never really stuck to anything like I've stuck to this. It's, it's been difficult. I think I've learned a lot over the last month on drawing techniques used, things like that. And I'm, Finally, going to see how well I can draw a horse, a car, and a face. I'm nervous, but excited. Let's get into it. And I'm done. Finally finished. It's time to look at the befores and afters. Here is Day zero car compared, car on day 30. I think the car came out pretty good. It was pretty difficult to try to get the shape of the car right. It was it was not too simple, but I, I, I mean, compared to what I had before, I do think this is quite an improvement. The face, I definitely had the most trouble. It is not easy to draw a face. Here's my day zero face, which looks very cartoonish. And then day 30 face, which it's not bad. I think for watching s some videos over the course of a month and practicing, uh, but I think it came out pretty okay. This is what the horse looked like without any background knowledge or anything. A 30 horse. The horse is probably my greatest uh, improvement out of the three. The horse was very difficult. I had a reference photo this time and it was difficult to try to get the, the shading on the horse right but I do think it came out not too bad. So that's it. I 
am done with the challenge. I learned a lot over the course of the month. It is not easy to draw, but that doesn't mean that only certain people can learn. I do believe that anyone who tries to put in work can improve. If they practice enough, if they, if it's something they really want to learn and they just, they put in the effort, look at where I started and look at where I ended. That's only over the month and it isn't terrible. Like it came out pretty okay. The technical skills are very difficult to master and learn, but it's not impossible. I think I might continue this. I might try to learn some more, uh, practice, get it down, and maybe I'll become pretty good. Challenge is over. 30 days are up. But I got a lot of empty sheets in these, uh, in this sketchbook here that need to be filled. So not gonna let those go to waste.